Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at a teacher guide to Microsoft Sway. Now, Microsoft Sway essentially is a visual storytelling app. It allows students and staff to make information such as presentations, documents, and reports in an interactive way. So it's a real nice, simple interface that either yourself as a teacher can use to present information to learners, but also for your learners to use to present homework and blended learning activities back to you. So I hope you find this video useful. If you do, give us a like and subscribe to Teach Blend as well. It really does help me. So let's have a look now at Microsoft Sway and how we can use this for teaching and learning and with our students. First thing to do is just navigate to office.com and then log in using your college username and password. So this will be the account that you use to log into your emails, etc. You're then going to click the app bar and then choose the Sway icon. Now what you'll see here is some predefined templates that you can use to edit. So for example, if you was gonna do a newsletter for your students, you can click this and you can start to edit this and build up a newsletter with some pre-existing content in there. You can change the pictures and the headings, etc. as well. So to do this, you just click start editing. So these are great for students if you are making, for example, a welcome back newsletter and more. You can also start a blank sway and make these from scratch as well. So here you'll see what you're given first is a title and you can also add a background to that title as well. So here I'm just going to put an example bit of text in. So this is the main title for your sway. Then under this is where you click the plus button to start adding in content such as text, media and groups. Groups keep your content together, media is things like images and then text is just simply text. Suggested will also give you some ideas on what to put in. So here I'm going to make a subheading called Heading 1 and I can emphasize this, I can put it to italics and even make a link. Once I've put the heading in of my content, I can also then add a background to that particular image, um, for, sorry, that particular heading. So this is really useful because what it does is it kind of makes your heading look a bit more attractive and kind of I would put a heading to do with what that was about. So if it was about sport, I might put a sports picture, for example. Here, once I've done this and I've clicked insert, I can then play this particular presentation and you'll see here that what I've got is the example and then some text. I'm just going to click plus now as well and I'm going to add some text underneath that heading to see how this builds up. So here I'm just going to type some text in. You can also emphasize these, put bullet points, etc. as well and also make the focus point a little bit bigger and delete them. I'm going to click plus again and choose text again and this time add a bit more text underneath. Now when I click play, you'll see what happens. So I've got my heading and then I've got two text boxes because I made two text cards all underneath that heading. So this is how you start to build up your sway. I'm now going to click plus again and show you how to add some images in. Now you can add single images and that's fine, but what we're going to do is use groups because groups collect the images together. So what I'm going to do is click group and then I'm going to choose grid. And a grid will make the, pre the images you include all in like a four by four or however many images you choose. So I'm just going to quickly add some images by searching them. You can upload your own as well. And then I'm also going to caption these images as well to describe them. I've just used some example text here. When you click play now, what you'll see is I've got my headings, I've got my text, and then because I've used a group, it's put those images in. You can also ungroup these and click group type and change, such as stack. So here what I've done is I've changed the group type to stack now, and you'll see what happens is how those images are displayed have been changed into more of a stack kind of collection of photographs. So you use groups to keep content together and also display. I'm going to click plus again now and choose a video. And in here what you'll see is that I've added some text as well and I'm just going to upload a video that I've found on the search. But what you can do is also upload your own videos as well. I'm going to click play now and you'll see the two text boxes and then the other group with the video that's displayed. So this is great if you were going to do a video for the students or some blended learning activity. I'm going to click design now and this is where you start to design your actual sway. So you can change the style. So I'm going to click styles and then here you'll see that I can change these to vertical. So it basically looks like a single page website, almost like great for like newsletters. 
I'm going to use horizontal, which is like a scrolling presentation. And then slides is a little bit more like your traditional PowerPoint, but all useful for your students to display content um, and for you to provide some blended learning activities. You can also click remix as well. And this is great just to give you some ideas on designs. On the bottom, you'll see that you can choose themes that are predefined by Microsoft. And what these do is they just make it look a little bit more effective and change the entire style of your sway. What you can do, and I'm just going to click one here, the blue one, is you can then customize those individual themes. So you can choose to use color from the image, choose your own color palette or some predefined ones. And you can even change the fonts as well. So students can use this as well. They can make their presentations look really nice and effective, but it's great for you as well to provide content and information to your students in a little bit more of an interactive way than just your regular PowerPoints. You can click share to then share these with your specific group or organizations or anyone with the link. And you can also give people rights to edit these. So you might make a sway for your students that they're all gonna contribute on, for example. You just copy that link. You can also get a visual link as well, which you could put onto your Microsoft team, for example. So it might be that you're delivering some content about maths, for example, you could use that to put onto the team. You can also click share and more options and require passwords to edit this way and also allow other viewers to sh see the share button. On the cog, this is where you can change things such as the autoplay settings and the defaults and animations as well. And then on the far right, what you can do is you can go back to Sways, you can print and export these and also have accessibility. If you've got any particular students, for example, what might need that support. I'm going to click on my Sways now and I'll show you how this is really useful as well. Because what you can do is you can actually get the analytics of your particular Sway. So this is useful because what you can do is you can have a look at how well students have engaged in general on that particular Sway and you can also recover deleted, etc., as well. I'll just show you a quick example here of what I've done for my MIE Expert application. So students could use this way to do, for example, portfolios or CVs or examples of work that they've contributed to. And you'll see that what I've done is I've used headings for each section. So use headings to kind of separate the topic up. And then you use groups within those headings to keep that content nice and looking effective. Headings will also then give you like a contents page that you can click directly to that particular link of that sway. So I do hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have got any questions or comments, drop a comment in the YouTube channel and I'll try and reply. And as ever, thank you very much. And please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. Thank you.